Hi dears, now we are going to study about an important topic that is ovarian tumors. See, ovarian tumors they are really high yield. In all exam, there will be one sure short question. So I am classifying the ovarian tumors into three. One is called germ cell tumor. Other is called sex cord stromal tumor. Other is called other tumors. So now let's talk about each one. It's very easy germ cell tumor. First one we are talking about all the germ cell tumor. See germ cell tumor the important one here are First one, a yolk sac tumor. Remember in yolk sac, just remember in mnemonics, sac. S4, there is given skillet dual bodies. A4, increased alpha fetoprotein. And C4, it mainly comes in children. Children mean both boys and girls are affected. Remember, yolk sac tumor boys. In boys, the affection will be in the testis. Remember it, embryology. So, yolk sac tumor, next one is very important. That is called dysgerminoma. Dysgerminoma. So, first one was yolk sac. Second is dys this germinoma, remember in this germinoma, remember only one thing that is there will be increase in LDH, lactate dehydrogenase, and increase in beta HCG, human chorionic gonadotropin. If you see in any question, human chorionic gonadotropin, like placenta secreting hormone and LDH, both are increased. Think about this germinoma. Third one is very easy, very easy to answer. Teratoma. See, there are, there are terrors, right? Teratoma, terror. Something is terror here. You will see, they will give you a tumor, and tumor is mixed with the bone, teeth, cartilage, hair. So, like, you will see a very vulgar, that's a terror type of tumor. Even you can't see that. A tumor mixed with the bone, cartilage, teeth, hair, many parts of the body. So, that is called teratoma. Remember, teratoma, dysgerminoma, and yolk cell tumor. Yolk sac tumor, these are the main germ cell tumor. So that's all you have to remember about germ cell tumor. Next one, we will go for sex cord stromal tumor. See, stroma is affected, right? Sex cord stromal tumor is also important. Remember, if I am talking about sex cord stromal tumor, First one, remember fibroma, fibroma, you can see I wrote here bro, right, so I, want, I got this from some other people, the mnemonics, fibroma, bro, right, so a bro, come here bro, bro, what this bro people do, there will be vodka people, right, alcoholic people, bro, come here, so remember, they are beer people, they are vodka people, what happen if someone drink beer or alcohol for a long time, Sure, he will have liver disease. If his liver is affected, sure, he will have ascites. Remember, in fibroma, they will give you edema in the abdomen because liver is affected. So, liver ascites. And other thing is, you will have pleural effusion. Pleural effusion. And you will have fibroma, fibrous rich tumor. If you see these three things, one, two, three, this triad is called makes triad. So remember once again I am repeating fibroma. Fibroma is a sex code stromal tuber. Remember bro. You can remember for the lifetime. Bro means bro means beer or vodka person. If vodka person drink too much, he will have liver problem. Think about ascites, edema in the abdomen. Think about pleural effusion and think about fibroma. If you see in this question, all these three things together, this condition is called makes triad. 
Next one, this is Sertoli Ladic cell tumor. You know Ladic cell, right? Ladic cell normally in males they produce testosterone. So the patient will have lot of testosterone in the question and he will have as a result increased virilization. All virilization characters due to testosterone. And in histologically you will see a cells here that is called Ringe crystal. If you hear the word Ringe crystal, don't even think, just think about only Sertoli Ladic cell tumor that comes under sex code stromal tumor. Among this, first one was fibroma, second is Sertoli, third one, think about granulosa theca cell tumor. Granulosa theca cell tumor. You know what theca cell produce? They produce estrogen. So this person will have hyperestrinism. Hyperestrinism. Remember, you know, there is a body seen here. You know, normally some female, they will have more estrogen. You can remember like that. If they have more estrogen, what they will do? They will start calling their ex. Right? So remember, here you will see a body is called Cole Exner bodies. Remember? Cole Exner bodies. So how I remember this? Remember, if female have more estrogen, they will start calling her ex. So Cole Exner bodies means more estrogen. More estrogen means granulosa, theca cell tumor. It comes under sex code stromal tumor. So we are done with the sex code stromal tumor. The last two one, what we have is the other tumors that is also important but little low yield. So I will just mention here the other tumors but we are remember here is first one is Brenner tumor. What are the other tumors? First one Brenner. Remember in Brenner I have B. So they are talking about bladder cancer. The question they will give you something tumor and they give you mentioning something problem about bladder. Just think about bladder cancer. Next one is Kurkunberg tumor, Kurkure, Kurkunberg tumor. Remember Kurkure here. Oh, this is a tumor. What they do is they originate in the GIT, stomach GIT, and they come to the ovary. Kurkunberg tumor, they start from the GIT and they do metastasis and they come to ovary. This type of tumor is called Kurkunberg tumor. So these are the important things that you have to remember all about ovarian tumor. Other tumor is Brenner and Kurkunberg. That's all. Thank you.